Today we're going to be learning about the high performance liquid chromatography, which is also known as HPLC. It is an analytical chemistry technique used to separate, identify and quantify each component in a mixture. The HPLC instrument is made up of six main components, which are mobile phase, the pump, injector, the column, detector and data acquisition. In mobile phase, one or more solvent can be mixed to make up a mobile phase. A degasser is used to remove dissolved gases from a mobile phase to prevent bubbles to occur within the system. The formation of bubbles can lead to a baseline noise or an unstable baseline. The pump drives its solvent to the mixing chamber where mixing of the mobile phase takes place under higher pressures. Then the injector port. The injector port is used to introduce your sample to the system. The injector unit has two positions, which is load position, that is used to introduce the sample into the sample loop of which in this instrument is 20 microliters. When you're ready to start with your analysis, you move, the inject you move to the inject position. Before your sample reaches the actual column, it passes through the guard column. The guard column is used to protect your column in case your sample contains harmful compounds that could block or clog your column. The separation occurs in the column. Now, how does the separation happen in the column? Inside your column, there is a stationary phase, a mobile phase, and your sample that you have just injected. There are a lot of stationary phases you can utilize, but co the commonly used one is a carbon-18, which is a non-polar stationary phase. When your sample is a mixture of polar and non-polar compounds, the polar compounds travel faster through the column, provided that your stationary phase is non-polar. This is because the polar compounds has less affinity to the non-polar stationary phase, and hence they will elute first. But the non-polar compounds will elute later because they have high affinity with the stationary phase, which will then result in longer retention times. This type of chromatography is called a reverse phase. But when your stationary phase is polar, the non-polar compounds will elute faster and polar compounds will elute later. Now this is called a normal phase. In this experiment, we are using a non-polar stationary phase, which is a reverse phase. When the compounds leave the column, they travel to the detector. There are many types of detectors available. In this experiment, we are, UV, we are using a uv vis detector, which is a detector that measures the absorbance of each compound as they elute from the column. The final stage for your analysis is data acquisition, where you will see the compounds according to what the detector has captured. Now, each peak represents each compound in the mixture. Now, this display is called a chromatogram. We can now move on and switch on the instrument, starting with the pump, the detector, and finally, the computer system. The experiment we are doing today is a qualitative analysis where we'll be separating and identifying aromatic compounds in a mixture. The aim of this experiment is to optimize the separation of a four-component mixture by investigating the mode of separation, effect of mobile phase composition, flow rate, and wavelength of detection, and then use the optimized separation to identify the, the individual components in the mixture by HPLC. But before we start performing our analysis, we have to develop the method. Now, how do we develop the method?